People at a Milwaukee apartment complex are upset after a string of overnight car break-ins. Our Aaron Maben joins us live now from Commerce Street, where it's been a day of cleanup and frustration out there, Aaron. Stephanie, this is not the way you want to start your week. People walked outside of their apartments this morning to a site like this right here. There's been a number of cars moved and some people sweeping things up. But when we were here earlier, it was like every single car had a smashed up window on this row right here. It has caused thousands of dollars in damages and headaches for so many. All my glasses on the inside, nothing was stolen. Theodore Lacey is cleaning up what vandals left behind. Uh, I'm annoyed, but it's, ex it's, it's expected because it's happened so much. For a second time, someone broke into his vehicle parked at the Brewers Point Department Complex on Commerce Street. It's a Miata. Like, why you got to do it to a Miata? It's a nice person's car. Lacey filled a snow shovel with the shattered glass. Now we got another expense to pay for. And he's not the only one feeling frustrated. Nearly every car in this row has a broken window. Cars parked on the street are damaged too. I looked and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Carmen Adams woke up to this unpleasant surprise. This is our livelihood. This is what gets me to and from work and whatever I need to do. We were there as Milwaukee police pieced together the crime scene. Neighbors hope police find whoever caused this damage. Get a job, man. <laughs> Get a better hobby. This sucks. You're going to come across the wrong person and they're going to do something to you and your parents ain't going to like it. And I'm going to just leave it at that. So when we talked to people today, they said it didn't seem like the vandals and people who broke into their cars took anything, just a lot of headaches and frustrations. One woman just telling me that she had to pay 350 bucks for a brand new uh, car window. I reached out to the apartment complex to talk about safety and security. We haven't heard back yet. We're live in Milwaukee, Aaron Maben, Fox 6 News. That's just absurd. Is there any video evidence out there? Any cameras? You know, Stephanie, there is a surveillance uh, camera actually over my shoulder, but according to the people who uh, were targeted, they say that the video is grainy and that they're not able to get a good look at the suspects. And the apartment complex staff hasn't gotten back to me to get that video. Back to you. There's a lot of really cheap cameras out there that show really great pictures. We'll see if they upgrade after this. Aaron, thank you.